afternoon, yogins. Uh, my name is Amanda Shepard, and welcome to another episode of Play Along Practice. If you are interested, you can subscribe at the little triangle on uh, my homepage. Love to see you do that. And um, if you're interested and able, maybe you can make a donation. That would be awesome. There's uh, several options to do that or just to support this yogini during our um, collective staycation that we have. Um, and thanks for coming along and playing uh, anyway, even if you can't do those things. Okay, so um, let's just see where the practice evolves. I think I'm probably gonna work with some hip opening today. We'll just start sitting up nice and tall. Sits on the ground and crown of head to sky. And I'm just gonna sit on a blanket. Let me grab that. It's a beautiful day here in SoCal. One thing I do feel very happy about is that my particular town, the beach is still open. So we're allowed to go, we're not allowed to park or anything like that. You have to be walking distance, but you can still take a walk on the beach, which is always such a nice settling thing. As the sits bones ground, the crown of head grow to sky. Spend your breath, get nice and long and even. Really tap into that inner equanimity. Sanskrit, the word uh, Purna means um, divine consciousness. And there's a chant called Om Purnamada, which is all about um, how divine consciousness is, is an always already present thing inside us, outside us, all around us. And in our practice, we use the breath to tap in to that divine consciousness inside. So even if you're staying in, you never really because that porna is always there. That divine consciousness, that, that freedom of divine consciousness is always inside you. So let's see if we can tap into that today. Allow the chest to go forward and to the right, exhale to the back and to the left. Try to keep the movement in the ribs and not so much the shoulders. And just take it to the other side. And sitting up nice and tall, allow the right arm to reach out to the right, absorb those left ribs in. Really find that nice side stretch. Maybe you reach that left arm up and over, leaning back the left shoulder blade. As you exhale, come on back through center. Just keep the left arm extending, lift up, notice the shoulders go with you, see if you can spread them nice and wide. And then absorb the ribs in again. Good, 
exhale back through center. You're going to twist, bringing the right ribs towards the left. And allow your arms to reach out to the side. Left arm behind you, right arm reaches across. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. And come on back through center to switch your feet. Breathing here. Maybe start to move the rib cage again. And just go back and forth like a cat cow kind of option. And if it's interesting, you can bring the ribs to the left and back to the right. Forward again. Go the other way. Back through center. Left arm reaches out to the left, right arm up. Absorb those ribs in. Nice lateral stretch. Leaning off to the side. And back through right shoulder blade. And try to keep the right sits bones grounded. Inhale, lift on up. Just keep them lifting and notice the work of the shoulders. They naturally want to go up. That's fine. But just spread them wide. Breathing here. A lateral stretch again. And then as you exhale, lift on up. Find your twist. Right arm behind you, left arm comes across. Look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Come on back through center, maybe give yourself a little shimmy. You can take your support system out. And if you like to use a blanket for your knees or anything like that, you have it available. I am going to uh, wheel around and find my sits bones. Draw the knees in. I need a boss in a boat pose, sitting up nice and tall. Try not to round the low back, let it get nice and long. And breathe here. Flex the feet. Scoop the belly in, arch in the boss. Always bring my big toes in, I want to reach them away. Navasana. Exhale, Arjuna Navasana. Inhale, Navasana. A couple more times. And this time I'm going to find Yogi Toe Lock on that right leg. Let the left leg come down. I'm just going to roll back. Stretching out the hamstring, you can use a strap if you want, or you can take your hand to the hamstrings if that's more interesting for your body. Breathing to the left side body. Turn the toes up. Just gonna reach that leg out to the side. Exhale back through center, and I'm just gonna snuggle that left knee behind the right, finding Boma Cross in the legs. Separating the feet, drawing the knees in. I don't want my sacrum lifting. I'm going to keep that down. Breathe here. Good. And then as I exhale, I'll reach the legs to the sky. One more time, Navasana. This time I'm going to take double pigeon, uh, right arm under the left, Garudasana arms, we'll lift up nice and tall, breathing here, and then as I exhale, I'm just going to come forward. I need to take my time to get into my practices, I don't jump right in. Reaches out, right arm to the sky, finding that lateral stretch. I'm going to bring my right hand down and take a twist. And I might bring the forearm down and I might lean back with my left shoulder blade. If that's me and the arc of the foot is on my right tricep, then I might try to imagine I'm stepping on my tricep. 
And you bring your hand up. Take it back down. Reach around. Swing around behind your sits bones. Navasana. Yogi Tola on that left leg. Round down. Scoop your belly in. Sutto Tita Asta Padmasthasana. A. Turn the toes out. Reach that leg out to the side for B. Breathe into that right side belly. Okay, breathe in here. Try to hug the leg muscles to the ball. Inhale, look back up through center. I'm just gonna snuggle that right knee behind the left, finding my Gomukhasana leg. This is for right, right there. With the left hip and thigh knee. Don't let the feet get lazy. It really takes um, the work out of the pose. One more breath. I'm gonna reach the legs to sky first because it's easier, but I might also just go straight into um, double pigeon legs. If you don't like double pigeons, Sukhasana, bring that uh, left foot in front, left arm under right. Needle arms, drop the shoulders at the elbows. Breathing here, nice, easy breath. Exhale, come on forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, unwind, right arm out to the side, left arm up and over. Find your twist. Maybe you bring your left forearm to the floor. Imagine you're stepping on your tricep. Maybe you take that hand to your face. Keep leaning back the right shoulder blade and try to absorb these ribs in as you do that. Breathing here. As you exhale, come on back through center. Cross your left ankle over the right and plant your palms. Toes can be on the floor. Just press your hands in, maybe lift the sits bones, maybe add the feet. Bring it back down, switch it up. Plant those palms, toes can touch the floor. Now push down, lift the sits bones, maybe add the feet. Come forward to all fours. Fingers, face your knees. And start stretching out the wrists in various ways. Maybe you lift the heels of the hands and go into the fingers. Right knee, bring the heels of the hands down. Keep your hands the other way. One side at a time, bring the top of the hand to the floor. Not much pressure. Just going to uh, take a couple cat cows. Just to warm up the spine. I like to make them bigger sometimes. Reaching back and downward facing dog. Come slightly wider. If you need to walk your hands in, you can do that. Reach that right hand across for the left ankle calf or thigh. Look underneath. If you can see the sky. Bring your hand back. Just take it to the other side. Reach that right leg to sky, feet to midline. I'm gonna turn the toes out, bend the knee, couple hip circles. Open that leg out to the side. Check out your toe. Nice deep inhale. 
Lift that left heel, exhale, bring it back down, maybe lift the toes. Inhale, lift the heel, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift, exhale, bring it down, and just step that right foot up next to your thumb. Come onto your fingertips, straighten that right leg, right in the front of the body. Maybe flex the foot, and then as you exhale, just bend the knee, sink the lower hips. Inhale, straighten, exhale, sink. Inhale, extend the leg, exhale, sink, and bring that left knee down. Left arm under the shoulder. Inhale, reach that right arm up and around, turn the right toes out. And bend that left foot, kicking the foot to the hand. Take the heel towards your outer hip. And again, keep leaning back. As you exhale, take that right arm down, reach that right leg back, open the hip again, just see if it feels any different. And as you exhale, feeling the spine, shoulders over the wrist come all the way down to the earth. Find your sphinx pose. Lifting the belly, pulling back, spread those inner shoulders. Do the work you need to make sure your low back feels good. For some of us, for me, it's lifting the belly in and up a lot. For other people, might be bringing the feet a little wider. And maybe allow the elbows to lift and just come on down, reach your arms out to the side. Stay connected to breath. Take this cobra variation, lifting up, exhale, coming down just a few times. Plant hands by your low ribs, cobra up dog. Exhale, roll over those toes. Reach that left leg straight back, turn the toes out. Couple hip circles. Keeping that leg out to the side. Inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale, bring that heel down, lift the toes. Inhale, right heel lifts. Exhale, bring it down, lift the toes. One more time. Now as you exhale, you step that left foot next to your thumb. Come onto your fingertips as you straighten the leg. Maybe point those toes to the sky. As you exhale, bend the knee, inhale, extend the leg, exhale, bend, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, right arm under the shoulder, heel so that left foot out, bring the right knee down as you reach that right arm behind you, or left arm behind you, bend the foot so you can kick that foot to the hand, nice heart opening, lean back. And as you exhale, take the hand to the top of the foot and draw the heel towards your outer hip. Sometimes I like to close my eyes during my practice. Sometimes I like to set my drishti maybe just beyond the horizon. And as you exhale, come on back through center. If your eyes are closed, open them. Reach that leg back, open the hip just to see what it feels like if it's starting to feel a little more open. And then as you exhale, Chaturanga and Dasan all the way to the floor, lengthen the tailbone, breathing here, and let's strengthen that SI joint area. So bring your hands to the floor, you want to actively let that low back get long, make space between your belly button and your clothes. And extend the toes towards the wall behind me. With my inhale, feet come as wide as the mat. Exhale, hip distance. Two more times. Last time. But I might keep that, finding no hand uh, bhujangasana. And then glide the hands back next to my little ribs. 
Stick with Cobra, some of you. Board of Mukashvanasana. Exhale, downward dog. Mm -hmm. Inhale, I'm gonna lift the heels, set my gaze, exhale, bend the knees. From the body center of breath, just bring the feet forward. Small step, you may ha. Nice deep inhale. If you like to invert, do that. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, reach those arms up. Lord Vastasana. Exhale, Samastihi. Find your Utasana breathing here. And breath to be nice and easy. Feel the breath moving through the body. Keep your equanimity as you inhale and float the arms, float the heels. Exhale, ride that breath down into Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, feet to the back of the mat. Steppers, right foot, stump, jumpers, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Just your basic Surya Namaskara A. Whatever that means for you. And spend a few breaths here in your uh, down dog or balasan. <sighs> Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, when the body's empty, bring those feet forward. Inhale, Artha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. With circles, Ord Vastasana. Maybe lift the heels. Exhale, Samastasana. So two more Surya Namaskar A, whatever you like them to be. If you're a stepper, alternate feet. Inhale, reach those arms. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen.
a moment in Tadasana just to reconnect to breath if you lost it. Hopefully you didn't lose it. And next inhale, reach those arms out to the circle or the stasin. Keep extending those arms to the sky. Nice long back of the body. Heels lifted, you're gonna keep your left arm lifted and reach your right arm out to the side, turn the thumb behind you. And tie yourself in the back. Try to keep your balance. Don't worry if the fingers touch. And then notice, are you jutting forward with the ribs? Draw them back in. Let your breath hold you in the balance. If you're connected to breath, you'll be able to maintain. As you exhale, bring the heels down, sink the hips as you bend the knees. Utkatasana with Gomukhasana arms. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, release the fingers. You're gonna reach that left elbow across and open up. Let your right hand come down. Lean back with your shoulder blade and see if you can bring the left hand to the floor. Sit low. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, let's step that left foot back and open up. Virabhadrasana. Two. Drop the shoulders, left arm down, right arm to sky. And breathe in. As you exhale, uti to tree karnasana. Get nice and long, all four sides of the waist. Left arm to sky. And maybe reach that arm overhead. And you can do giant circles here. And go the other way. Good, as you exhale, bring that hand down. Plant your palm, you flex the right foot, and we'll reach that leg straight to sky. Breathe in here. Maybe allow the forearms to come to the floor. You're in Ekapada, one-legged dolphin pose, chest towards the thighs. And from here, root your hands to the floor, lift the elbows as you exhale, step that right foot up, turn the left toes out, Virabhadrasana one. Inhale. Exhale and come forward 45 degrees. Inhale here as you exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Inhale here as you exhale, standing split. Wrap that left inner thigh to sky. One more breath. And as you exhale, come all the way up to stand, shake it out. Reach those arms, inhale. If you're so connected to breath, you can just balance here without really thinking about it. Left arm out to the side, turn the thumb down. Reach that hand between the shoulder blades. Tie yourself in the back with the right hand. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, bring the heels down, sink those hips back. Utkatasan, you're gonna let go of your fingers. Reach that right elbow across and lean back with your left shoulder blade. Right arm drops, uh, left arm, sorry, drops behind you to a uh, half bind. Breathe in here. As you exhale, look down. You're gonna step that right leg back and open up Virabhadrasana two, heel to arch alignment. Right arm down, left arm up and over, reverse warrior. Root into that right foot, straighten that left leg. Tita Tripanasana. Maybe close your eyes and feel the breath moving through the body and you can figure out where you need to lengthen, where you need to strengthen. Reach that right arm up, arm overhead, a giant circle. 
Go the other way. And let that hand come down right under your shoulder, left arm under the shoulder. Pivot the right heel, flex your left toes. Push your hands into the floor and inhale. Ikapada Adho Mukha Svanasana. Maybe bring the forearms down for dolphin, chest towards the thighs. Take your head, yes or no. Look between your hands. Wrap your inner wrist down. Make sure your hands are shoulder distance. If they're not, bring your knee down. One. One-legged dolphin. Exhale. Left foot comes up. Right foot turns out. Inhale. Virabhadrasana one. Really find your pose. Breathe into the back of the body. Exhale, 45 degree angle. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, three. Exhale, standing split. You can have the hands on the floor or on your leg. Yeah, this is fine. Try to close that right hip as you extend that leg to sky. And come on up to stand, check it out. Drain those hips a little bit. Reconnect to your breath. Your inhale, reach those arms, do some wrist circles. Stand tall. Right arm reaches behind you, turn the thumb down. Sneak that arm between your shoulder blades. Left arm, you're gonna pat yourself in the back. Breathing here. If you have the clasp, you're gonna straighten your fingers. As you exhale, sink the hips, bend the knees. Reach that left arm forward and then find your twist. Bring those left ribs towards the right, get nice and low. And let your right hand come down more to a half bud. Lean back. Spread those inner shoulders. Maybe keep the gaze lifted or even close your eyes. Stay connected to breath as you step that left foot back. And then open the eyes. Windmill into both. Virabhadrasana the two. Left arm down, right arm to sky. Breathing here. As you exhale, reach it out, Ati to Tree Konasana. You can draw within here, feel the breath moving through the body. And that should tell you, right, do you need to send energy towards your feet to get them nice and evenly grounded? Did you need to draw your left ribs in? You can feel that. As you exhale, Left arm under the shoulder, right arm down, flex your toes. I open my eyes. Reach that leg back. I might stay here, this might be plenty. I might bring the forearms down. Spread those inner shoulders nice and wide. And this time I might see if I want to hop up into Pinchamayarasana. Maybe extend the left leg forward and the right leg back. Doesn't have to be a super split. Good, as I exhale, I'm gonna bring that left foot down, straighten the arms, and step my right foot up. Turn the left toes out, inhaling. Here we draw some one. Exhaling 45 degrees. Inhaling, Virabhadrasana, three. Exhaling, standing split. Try to stay grounded in your breath so you can keep your balance. Let your neck go long. Inhaling up to stand, shake it out. Close the eyes, dry them. Gently open the eyes, let your gaze go beyond the horizon. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale. Left arm reaches behind you. Right arm, pat yourself in the back. Get long here. 
Nice deep inhale as you exhale, sink the hips and bend the knees. Now reach that right elbow to the outside. Let your left arm glide down. Spread those inner shoulders. Breathing here. Get those hips low. It makes it so much easier. And maybe close your eyes here. See if you can find that inner equanimity. And then step the right foot back. Open the eyes. Windmill into Virabhadrasana 2. Right arm down, left arm to sky, reverse warrior. Inhale in here as you exhale. Utita Tree Konasana. Stay connected into your breath. You can notice if the left side body's too long. Right. Arm overhead. Exhale, bring that right hand down under the shoulder, then the left. Flex your left toes. Reach it back. Ekapada, Adha Mukhasvanasana. Maybe dolphin. If it's interesting, keep rooting your arms into the floor. Maybe. Come on up into your pinch and Mayurasana. Maybe reach the right leg forward, left leg back. Breathing here. Really extend out through your toes. Keep pushing the floor away. Right leg comes down. You're going to set your gaze to make that happen. Now as you exhale, step that left foot up. Turn the right toes out. Inhale, Virabhadrasana 1. Exhaling 45 degrees. Inhaling, Virabhadrasana 3. Exhaling, standing split. Try to keep your balance on your feet. So grounding down to the big toe mound and outer heel. Maybe lift the toes a little bit so you can engage the arc of the foot. Exhale, come on up. Shake it out. Take a moment. One more set, that variation. Inhale. Exhaling, find your Gomukhasana arms. Right arm is on top. Nice deep inhale here. Uh, no, actually, sorry about that, messed up the arms. Left arm is on top. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Utkatasana, Gomukhasana arm. And straighten the fingers, reach that left elbow across. Left arm down, right arm to uh, right arm, uh, half mind, open the inner shoulders. Nice deep inhale here, maybe close the eyes as you extend that left leg back. And then open up. Virabhadrasana 2. Breathing here. Drop the shoulders, get comfortable. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale and reach it out in T to Trikonasana. So your foundation stays the same. Maybe you can keep the eyes closed and connect inside. And as you exhale, reopen the eyes, bring the left arm under the shoulder, then the right. Maybe bring them together. <sighs> Reach that right leg to sky. Forearms come down. You might stay with this, with dolphin. Maybe. Come on up. Extending that left leg forward, right leg back. I need a nice upside down Hanuman or thereabouts. As you exhale, bring that left foot down. Step the right foot up. Turn the left toes out. Inhale. Here we draw some one. Exhaling 45 degrees. 
Inhale, Virabhadrasana, three. Exhale, and standing split. Coming all the way up. Shake it out a little bit. Inhale, lift the heels. This time you do reach your right arm behind you, pat your, uh, sorry, I said my arm. Do you reach the left arm behind you, right arm's going to pat yourself on the back. Breathe in here. Spread those inner shoulders. Nice deep inhale. As you exhale, sink those hips, bend the knees. Find your comfortable Utkatasana. And then you're going to extend that right arm, bring the elbow across, opening up, right arm down, left uh, shoulder blade reaching back. Nice deep inhale here. Maybe you keep the eyes closed. As you exhale, step that right foot back and windmill open. Veer Vajrasana 2. Find your pose. Use the breath to figure out your alignment. Reverse warrior. Inhaling. Exhaling with Tiki Tree Konasana. Foundation stays the same, it's just the leg, that straight front leg that straightens. Inhaling here as you exhale. Plant your hands underneath the shoulders, reopen the eyes. Flex your left foot and reach it back. Maybe bring the forearms down. It's interesting. Maybe lift. Reaching that left leg forward, right leg back, engage the toes. Push your hands into the floor. Spread those inner shoulders wide. Breathe in here. As you exhale, right leg comes down. Step that left foot up. Turn the right toes out as you inhale. Here we draw to the one. Exhale, 45 degrees. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, three. Exhale, standing split. Let the back of the neck be long. If you don't have to stand, shake it out. Give yourself a little shimmy. And find some stillness, nice, easy Tadasana. And keep the feet hip distance. Left arm down, right arm up. Absorb those right rib, rib, it, well, ribs in. Take a nice lateral stretch. And lengthen the left side waist. Breathing here. Come on back up through center. And as you exhale, dancing Shiva, left arm behind you, right arm forward. Bent near straight leg variation, doesn't matter. Drop your left hip. Let your gaze reach back. Back to your fingertips. Okay, nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, look forward. Just reach that left arm up, find your toe lock. Open out the cheek out to the sauce in the B over the right arm. Exhale back through center. Breathe in here. And take a nice deep inhale. Release the leg. Reach the arms. And as you exhale, guard awesome. Left arm on your right, full pose. elbow to knee, inhale, lift, exhale, elbow to knee, find that twist, you're going to unwrap the leg if you have it, 
bring your hands down, twisted scissors. Reaching out, extend the legs away from each other. Right in here. Exhale, come on back. You pulled yourself in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale. Find a hamstring stretch that works for you. Make sure you're extending the front of the body. Inhale, coming all the way up. Keep hip distance. Bring them down, keep the left arm lifted, absorb those ribs in. Reach out through your right ribs as much as the left if you can. Breathing down. Exhale back through center. I'm going to find dancing Shiva, so reach the left arm forward, right arm back. Bent knee or straight. Drop that right hip. Look back at your right fingertips. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, look forward. Reach that arm up. Tola. Grab the shin. Tita Asta Padangasasana A. We're going to open up to B. Go over your left shoulder. Stay connected to your breath for the balance. Come back through center. Keep the leg bone plugging into the socket. Breathing here. Bend that right knee and cross it over. Garadasana. Right arm under the left. Inhaling here as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Undo the second wrap with your foot. Get into your twist and maybe bring those fingers down. Maybe extend the legs. As you exhale, come on back. Straighten the legs, heel toe those feet in. Nice deep inhale, exhale, pull. Find a hamstring stretch of your choice. Okay, whatever makes you happy. If you are grabbing the heels, No matter where you're at, see if you can bring a little more weight to the ball of the foot. If you're grabbing a heel, see if you can get connected to breath. And maybe lift those heels up. Ground out through the big toe mount. Soften those inner shoulders. Left arm down, right arm to the sky. Absorb those ribs in. Nice lateral stretch. Some of the exhale, and come back through center. Dancing shiva. Look back at the left fingertips. Forward, reach the arm up and around. Do Tita Pradhasasana A. Open up to B. Look over your right shoulder. Exhale back through center. See if you can bend the knee. Make number four. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Anki Utkatasana. Reaching that inner left knee away. You take the right hand to the left foot and reach that left arm forward. Nice deep inhale as I exhale and twist. Bring it around, left arm down, right arm to sky. And you look up. Come 
nice deep inhale here. I'm gonna bring my fingers down and step on my left tricep. Reach that right leg out to the side. The grasshopper. Exhale. Bring it back. Going back to your center. Holding over that leg. Come on up to stand. We extend the left leg. Bring it up. Shake it out. Left arm down, right arm to sky. Absorb those ribs in. Nice deep inhale. Oh, we're going to switch arms, aren't we? Right arm down, left arm to sky, absorb those ribs in, nice deep inhale. As I exhale, I'm gonna open, oh no, we're not. <laughs> Can't tell my right from my left today. Sorry. <laughs> left arm down, right arm to sky, breathing into the side body. As I exhale, I'm come back, oh. Oh wait, yeah, we're going this way. Sorry. Left arm up, right arm down, for real. Nice deep inhale here. Oh no, oh. <laughs> Right arm down, left arm up. Absorb those ribs in. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale back through center. I'm gonna extend the right arm back, left arm forward. Dancing Shia, there we go, got it. Drop the hip, look back at your right fingertips. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, find your chola. Tikasana bottom, Kastasana A. Open up to B. Go over the left shoulder. Inhale back to A as I exhale, I'm going to bend the knee. Ankle to knee, sit back, funky ukatasan. Reach that right knee out to the side. Get nice and low. Nice deep inhale. Left hand comes to the sole of the foot. Reach the right arm out and across. Finding a twist. Breathing here. Bring the hands down. I'm gonna step on my right arm. I'm gonna reach that left leg away. Or grasshopper. Nice deep inhale. And as I exhale, come on back. Maybe fold in. A little bend in that left knee. Come back up to stand. And you'll reach the right leg out. Breathing here. Try to lift the right leg high. Shimmy. Drop the shoulders. All right, so right or off to the right, extend that left arm. Chin out to the screen. Come back up through center. Look over. Hi, Shimai. Hey, dog's coming down. Look over the right shoulder. You're going to bring your chin in and then go straight across the body over to the left. And go the other way. Come back up through center, drop the shoulders. Hi, sweet girl. I'm gonna drop the left ear to the left. Extend the right arm. Oh, oh why don't you come here? Come on, darling, come on. So you get that scaling stretch, just reach out. Come on. There you go, sweetie. You can go out to that. Come on, come on. What to that? You can go all the way out the back. There you go, sweetie. Can you say hi to everybody? No. Look, Donna. Look over towards your left shoulder. Bring the chin down. Go across. Back the other way. Come on back and shake it out. And then take your hands to clasp behind you. Draw the chin down towards your chest. Stretching out the back of the back. Your shoulders round. This doesn't work. So make sure you're standing tall. center. I'm going to reach those arms out. Lift your hip points up. Lift your ribs off the waist. Nice and long in the low back. On the toss and standing back bend. So scoop your belly. Breathing here. Just done a ton of forward fold. 
so this might feel a little tense, just go, just go with your body. Maybe interlace the fingers behind you, finding chest expansion, arms moving in. Push down, roll it up, ribs, chest, shoulders. As you exhale, dive in. Right shoulder to right knee. Straighten the legs, left shoulder to left knee. And just let your hands go, nice deep breath. Uh, inhale, you're gonna keep the right foot where it is. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, and we'll open up. Do some Virabhadrasana too. Breathing here, Petita Parsva Konasana. As you exhale, reach it around for a half bind. Get wide in the inner shoulders, inhaling. And as you exhale, reverse your warrior. to the outside, floor, floor, block, or leg. Keep the collarbones wide. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, inside. And see if you can reach underneath or bind. Straighten the arms. Root into the back foot, straighten that front leg. Keep leaning back. And as you exhale, float it out, Ardha Chandrasana, let the bind go. Maybe Chapasana variation. Kicking that foot into the hand, opening up. Toes towards the top of your head. Stay connected to breath. So you don't even need the right arm. Gently release. And as you exhale, snuggle that left knee behind the right. No hands come all the way down. Setting up for Arhimati and Drasana. Right arm behind you. Left elbow comes across. Any variation you like. If you like a bind, go ahead and do that. And as you exhale, bring your feet back down. Uttanasana. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, fold. Maybe grab the back of your heels. See if you can find your balance. And lift the heels. Stay connected to breath to do that. points up. Nice deep inhale. top so it feels non-dominant. Push down with your feet. Roll it up, ribs, chest, shoulders. Exhale, dive on in. Bend the left knee, left shoulder to left knee. Take that to the other side. And gently release the hands. Left foot stays where it is. You're going to step that foot to the back of the mat. Open up. Virabhadrasana 2. Breathing here. Reverse your word. 
Utita Asta Pani with Stassen, uh, no, sorry, uh, Utita Pars of Aqua and Asana A. Lean back with your right shoulder blade. around for a half bind. Left hand up, reverse your body. Exhale, take your hand to the inside and you might drop down for a half bind. Lean back your right shoulder blade. Maybe straighten that left leg. And drops and with the half five. Maybe. Chapasana variation. Connected breath and ground down through your left foot. You don't really need the left hand. Or even your gaze. Left arm behind you, right elbow comes across. And then breathe here, sit up nice and tall. Go to the left shoulder, go to the right shoulder. Plant your palms. Twisted scissors. And as you exhale. Utanasana with the heels lifted. And now. See if you can keep that. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale, so Take a moment in your chest. the right wrist with the left hand, absorb as you in. And as you exhale, come back to center. Open up. Nice on the top, some beautiful back bend. Breathing here, ground down to the feet. Stay connected to breath so you can straighten, lengthen the front of the body. Exhale, fold. And keep the right leg where it is, step the left foot to the back. Scissor the heel and knee closer together. And take your right hand to the thigh. Breathe into the back of the body. Exhale, sink. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift up. Keep the belly in. And reach that left arm up. Just keep leaning back. Be more interested in lengthening the front of the body than moving into the back of the body. And as you exhale, maybe let that left hand come down somewhere on that left leg. And extend that right arm behind you. Draw the left ribs towards your right. Keep reaching back. Nice and light. As you exhale, lift on up. Find a twist. Bringing that elbow across, lean back. Exhale, unwind, straighten out that front leg. Breathing here, 
Ardha Hanumanasana. Those of you who are more flexible than me, this direction. Full Hanumanasana. Have your hands on blocks. Right. Those of you who like to reach for the back leg, you're welcome to do that, or any variation you like. Right. When you're ready, you're gonna plant your palms, tuck the toes, draw that right leg back. You can stay here. And bring the forearms down and revisit that pinch of my ass and with the split and see how it feels for you. Maybe it feels a little bit nicer. Extending through the toes, maybe even looking at the sky and checking out your toes. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, child's pose. Turn back. Left arm on top of the right, push your hands down and pull back. Switch that up, right hand on top of the left. Push down, pull back, really get the side body long. Lift the hips up and back. Nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, just bring the feet forward anyway. Maybe you're taking small steps. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, fold. Reach those arms. Forward with Stassen. Exhale, Samas Tihi. Left arm reaches up. Flatten the wrist with your right hand. Pull up those ribs in. As you exhale, come on back through center, lengthen the tailbone. Roll it up, ribs, to shoulders, exhale, back on down. Inhale here, you're gonna keep the left foot where it is, step the right foot back, bring that right knee down. Take your hands to the thigh, breathe into the back of the body. See what happens. One more time. Reach that right arm to sky. Get really long in the front of the body. I like to use my left hand to pull the skin down. And we'll lift up, lifting the ribs off the waist. Keep reaching back. spot somewhere on the leg and reach that left arm up and over. As we exhale, we come back up through center, right arm to sky, and reach across for a twist, lean back with the left shoulder blade. As we exhale, on the line, Ardha Hanumanasana. Breathing here. Might be enough for you. Maybe if you want, you can go a little further into Hanumanasana. Try to stay focused on your breath more than uh, worrying about how far your legs go apart. And roll that. Right under thigh to sky, plug the left leg bone into the socket. Maybe have your hands on blocks, which I'm sorry I don't have handy right now. Breathing here. Those of you who are interested, you can reach for the back foot and draw the foot towards the top of your head. Breathe here. Keep the belly in. toes. Try to keep the left leg bone plugging into the socket as I lift it back. Might stay here. You might
to bring the forearms down. And I might revisit a pinch of my wrist and lift the split. Right? Toes reaching away from each other. Trying to keep the hips level, not twisted. Right? I might even look and see my right toes. Keep reaching that left leg towards the top edge of your mat. And as you exhale, child's pose, anyone down? Walk your hands in. Bring the inner thighs together. Come a little bit further up on my mat. knees to chest as you reach the feet through. Awesome. Try to bring the elbows together as you keep the front of the body nice and long. I've been here before, you're just standing on your toes. Exhale, arm in the bus. Draw those knees into the chest. And then bring your ankles down. I'm gonna come up on my mat a little bit. Start to move into some back bends. If that's interesting, some days it is for me and some days it isn't. Palms down. If you have a lot of uh, muscle mass or it's just hard for you to get your hands together underneath, you can find the outside edge of your mat and pull on it. Lengthen the tailbone. Bring one shoulder under and then the other. Use the hand variation for your, works for your body. Keep the chest lifted, or keep the chin lifted. Push your feet into the floor and that will lift your chest. Ground down through your left foot, draw your right knee in and extend that leg to sky, do some ankle circles. Take it down. Ground down through your right foot, draw the left knee in. Do some ankle circles. Bring it back down. And as you exhale, roll it out. When you're ready, come up to your bridge one more time. If that's interesting. Interlacing fingers, other shoulder under first. Down with your feet. Right knee draws in, reach the leg up. Left knee draws in, reach the leg up. Exhale, roll it out. Shoulders up, uh, the heels of the hands up with your ears outer shoulder distance apart. I start with my fingers turned out a little bit. So my elbow is coming out of the shoulder. If I have my fingers facing straight back, the elbow goes out to the side, and I don't want that. So I'll keep that here. Sakyabhadra, Chakrangasana, feet, lengthen the tailbone, top of the head comes to the floor, draw your elbows in, plug your arm bones to the socket, I like to lift my heels, and then with my inhale, straighten arms and legs together, and then bring the heels down, try to straighten the legs. Exhale, come on down.
breath as you need before setting up for your next one. Lengthen the tailbone, top of the head comes to the floor. Draw your elbows in. Straighten arms and legs together, and then bring the heels down. Maybe walk the feet in. Maybe root into that left foot and lift the right knee and reach into sky, finding a ekapada. Bring that leg down. And feet are slipping. Take it to the other side. Bring that foot down. As you exhale, come on back down. Last one. If you want it, maybe you're done. Find your uh, nice long tailbone as you lift the hips. Set your arms up. Inhale. And maybe extending that leg to the sky. Drop your knees to the right, knees to the left, knees to the right, right ankle to the outside of the left knee. Come across, bring your hips left and knees right. Take your ankle to the outside of the knee. Come back through center. And find your final twist, whatever that is for you. knees in, a couple low back circles, and set yourself up for your final relaxation, whatever that means for you. Maybe you've got a blanket to place underneath your knees, especially after all those back bends. Let the breath go. Let the practice go. Noises, just let them move through.
you are in your breath cycle, begin to bring some awareness back to the breath, drawing a nice deep inhale in, exhale through the mouth. Start to move the fingers and toes, do some wrist and ankle circles, reach out through the arms and legs. And when you're ready, draw your knees to your chest. Maybe pick a side of the body that's interesting to roll onto today for a breath or two. And taking your time when you're ready, come on up to a nice, comfortable, seated position, sitting up nice and tall. If you like to sit on a blanket, you can grab that. So you can join in if you know it, if you don't know it, maybe just listen. Let's sit nice and tall, elbows right underneath the shoulder. Hands to heart center, thumbs to third eye. Namaste, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for sharing with me. Uh, I hope you enjoy the practice. And um, please subscribe, tell your friends. Thank you. Have a beautiful Wednesday.